Let's dial in a few more tidbits about the menu and the preferences before we start flying with Avair. So here in the GPS menu, you can determine whether or not you want to receive via the internal GPS chip or use an external ADSB receiver or GPS receiver. Here in Weather is where you can determine if you want your weather displayed to be coming from the ADSB receiver or from the internet data that you downloaded before you left the house. Here in Instrumentation is where you can determine whether or not you want to have your distance rings uh, for quick determination of distance from a, an object or from an uh, airport. And the display, track up, north up, or track up. For me, it works best in my brain if I have the chart, north up, and then the uh, aircraft traversing accordingly. It just works better for me. Let's go back to the display preferences further Further on down, you have the choice to have your runway extensions displayed and also the auto show airport diagram after you land, the display will automatically go to the taxiway diagram and your aircraft will display on top of the, ta of the taxiway diagram. Very handy. So flight tracking, in case you wanted to have uh, a breadcrumb path. Also, uh, pilot and aircraft information in case you ever wanted to use a bear as your flight plan filing uh, program and other configuration settings to enable you to uh, customize the display even more. So that's some basic information about the preferences menu that uh, will help you dial in the display and other functions and really customize it for you and then you can really be familiar enough to go flying with this program.